The commander of land forces, who's taken joint charge of British military security operations at the Olympics, has said no firm decisions be have been taken about increasing the number of British troops to be brought in. But he was ruling nothing out. General Sir Nick Parker was speaking in Germany, where he saw soldiers being trained for Olympic security duties. Rob Olver reports in Senelaga. If G4S had supplied the right number of Olympic security guards, soldiers from 20 brigade units might well be on sunshine holidays today. Instead, they've been in a Senelaga army camp undergoing what's called venue security force training. If you've been feeling on the bus, off the bus, it's because we've been trying not to deploy people because we don't want to mess anybody about. But the targets kept on getting bigger. General Sir Nick Parker hadn't expected to be here either. As joint head of Olympic security, he wanted to meet soldiers unexpectedly ordered to the Games. Almost a third of the three and a half thousand extra soldiers called in for last minute Olympic duties are from Paderborn. Responding to reports that a further 2,000 troops may be needed, the general was ruling nothing in or out. It is still too difficult to say exactly what's going to happen. And we have some contingency plans which may involve more people, but they are too immature at the moment for us to be able to say for definite what the requirement will be. So, I mean, I'm very sorry. It's just one of those things where it's sod's law that we still haven't yet got the data that we need. I, I believe that it will be available within the next 48 to 72 hours, and therefore we'll get some clarity in that sort of time frame. And when asked why soldiers just back from Afghanistan had to go, he had this to say. I promise you we have looked everywhere so that we don't affect those people who are training for Afghanistan, clearly in Afghanistan, or coming back and on their pottle. But it is a fact that if you don't touch those communities, I'm afraid it is people like the, the guys who are training here today who will have to do this job. The Paderborn soldiers start leaving for London Olympic sites as early as tonight, but their exact jobs won't be clear until they get there. Some fear losing money from cancelled holidays. So would there be any compensation payments or a special Olympic bonus, perhaps? Anybody who was going on a holiday who's had to cancel, even if they didn't have insurance, will have that cost, the cost of the holiday re uh, reimbursed. I think if they hadn't taken, hadn't taken out insurance, I think there is a, an amount taken off the claim for what they should have insured, but they get the money back. If they've got insurance, uh, then the cost of the insurance policy will be refunded. So there's no question that people have been, uh, uh, so have had to pay money for a holiday which they've had to cancel, it will be re reimbursed. As far as wider allowances are concerned, everybody will be on field conditions and LSA will be paid for the duration of the deployment. And I'm now looking to see that the package of uh, uh, of welfare uh, conditions that is presented to people on each of the venues is and in their camps is as good as it possibly can be. I'm looking for a sort of deployed CO's public fund that can be given to the unit uh, commanders so that they can spend it on what is required at the time. And for army families split up for much of the past 18 months because of training commitments in Afghanistan and now apart once again because of the Olympics General Sir Nick Parker had this message. I absolutely understand how incredibly irritating and inconvenient this must be, particularly if this was your first summer holiday with your children after a number of years of deployments. The fact is that the UK, London, is holding the Olympics and it's a one-in-a-generation event and the security has not gone according to plan and defence and the army has had to step in to make it work. So we're doing our duty. And I think I can't apologise for doing our duty. I think that's what we do if we're in the army. And so while I am incredibly sorry that people have been in inconvenienced, I'm also absolutely conscious that we must do the right thing. And I think this is the right thing. The nation will, of course, be willing on its athletes to clinch as many golds and silvers as possible, but many will also be thinking if anyone deserves an Olympic medal, it's these guys and their families. Rob Olver, Forces News, Senelaga.